So here I'm trying to find what is the hundreds digit of 20 factorial minus 15 factorial. And so one thing I know before I even do this problem is that if I if a number is divisible by a thousand, then I know the hundreds digit is going to be zero. So I'm going to see if I can try to prove that 20 factorial minus 15 factorial um, is divisible by a thousand. So I rewrote 15 factorial um, in this kind of helpful way, and you'll see why it's helpful in a sec. Basically, where this is 15, but I just wrote it as 5 times 3, and I wrote 14 as 7 times 2. Um, and I'm going to show why that's helpful. Um, so notice 5 times 3, there's a 5 there. And when I do 7 times 2, there's a 2 there. Similarly, there's a 10 right here, and there's another 5 and a 2 here. So if I am going to just kind of combine that. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 is 10. And again, 5 times 2 is 10. So inside this 15 factorial exists 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. So actually, I now know that 15 factorial is divisible by a thousand. Um, and since 15 factorial is a part of 20 factorial, 20 factorial is also divisible by a thousand. So I can say this. I can do 20 factorial div divided by a thousand equals some integer x. And similarly, 15 factorial divided by a thousand equals some integer y. So now, going back to the, the beginning problem, if I do 20 factorial minus 15 factorial divided by 1,000, that's going to give me x minus y. I know that x is an integer, y is an integer, therefore x minus y is an integer. Therefore, 20 factorial minus 15 factorial divided by 1,000, um, that tells us that that expression is divisible by 1,000. Therefore, we can conclude that since 20 factorial minus 15 factorial divided by 1,000 equals an integer, um, I know that the hundreds digit is 0. And so that is key, and that's choice A.